Hello everyone, my name is Dave Eberts, and we're going to be looking into the germline origin uh, signaling part 3, which will lead to the neural induction and the mesoderm differentiation. So from the previous videos, we see that the endoderm and the mesoderm and the ectoderm got formed because of different factors such as VEG1, VEGT, ectodermin, etc. And in addition, because of where we see all the where the new coop center leads rise to the Spamon organizer, and for consistency I'll just call it Spamon organizer. We have the Spamon organizer located here in the mesoderm. What we also have now are these two other proteins that are important, these, this XWINT8 and BMP4. The expression for XWINT8, I'm going to erase mesoderm here for now, is all throughout the mesoderm. And let's quickly label, this is ventral and this is dorsal, just because of where the organizer is located. And XWINT is located in the mesoderm and will signal for ventral regions. So XWINT8 signals ventral mesoderm. So normally, this X with 8 will be expressed all throughout here and make it all ventral. But we don't want that. We want a patterning of different effects because we don't want this side to be ventral or in the middle to be ventral. We want there to be different areas. We want a dorsal, middle, and a ventral. So the way that happens is by inhibiting signals sent out from the dorsal area. So the dorsal area will come out and inhibit, oops, sorry, will inhibit a lot of the x wins 8. So there'll still be some located, but then it'll be very low levels. And thus we get a gradient effect. So where X wins is highest over here, we'll get ventral. Where it's lowest, almost none, we'll get dorsal. And intermediate level, we'll get the middle area of the mesoderm. So that's how we get patterning of the mesoderm. The other thing that happens is we have this protein called BMP4. What BMP4 signals is for an epidermal fade. Epidermal. Epidermal are mainly skin cells, and so you can imagine it being related to the ectoderm. So all the ectoderm is, a lot of it will be ectodermal cells, so BMP4 will help that signaling. Originally, BMP4 is expressed unilaterally, or is expressed equally all throughout the zygote and the embryo. So we have BMP4 being expressed everywhere and and now let's see I'm going to erase these words here we have BMP4 being expressed all throughout this embryo now the cells right here in the, sh in the mesoderm don't exactly want to become epidermal so what it'll do, just like with the x 8 how the Spamon organizer sent out signals to suppress it, is that it'll send out signals to suppress the BMP4. And so because of that, we can see a retraction of the epidermal fate. And so then we're left with this area right above the Schmemann organizer that had an, a suppression of the BMP4 and in that area is exactly where the neuro, neuro sorry, neural plate will form. <coughs> so normally x 8 will make ventral mesoderm but it can be suppressed to make a gradient 
Normally, BMP4 will make epidermal, but it can be suppressed by the spamon organizer to create a neural plate here. And yes, uh, BMP4 is expressed all throughout here as well. Don't worry about that for now. Uh, we just want to focus on the neural plate being induced and the mesoderm being signaled. And, and that's the basic action that when BMP4 is inhibited, the cells in this region are signaled to become neural plate. If they're not inhibited, these cells will just become epidermal. Now let's get a little more specific and see what these uh, signaling antagonists actually are. So for XWINT8, so XWINT8, the signals that are sent out by the Spamon organizer to help pattern it, there's only one of them, thankfully. It's called frizzled, F-R-Z-B, yes, F-R-Z-B, is the signal that will be sent out to suppress XWINT8. Then for BMP4, we have several, actually, that will suppress it. We have Cerberus, Cerberus. We have Noggin. Sorry, there's a lot of them. Noggin, uh, Jordan. And then I think finally we have Philas. Ah, don't worry about it. Ah. Philasistatin. I don't think I spelled that one right. Anyway, what's important to see here is that the organizer has a lot of tools to its disposal to use. So it can send these inhibitory signals using these to inhibit, inhibit different signals that were sent earlier. So in order to make the neural plate, it'll secrete all the BMP4 antagonists. And to pattern the mesoderm, it'll secrete uh, frizzled B, which will suppress and pattern XWINT8 in the mesoderm. All right, that's about it for this. Hopefully that made sense. See you in another life.